Last week I completed my Tantra teacher course, which means that I am officially a certified Tantra teacher. Yay! And I thought I would do a video just talking about my journey and why I decided to become a Tantra teacher in the first place. I mean, I thought about it for a long time because obviously sex, sexuality is taboo and there's a stigma around it, especially for women talking about whether or not they enjoy sex and pleasure and all that kind of stuff. So it was a very long thought out decision, but my intuition just guided me towards this path and I'm very grateful for it and I'm excited to talk about it more, especially after everything that I'm learning now and ready to pass on. I've had trouble figuring out how to talk about this topic. I've tried to make this video a few times already, but the best way that I can think about presenting why I'm following this path is to break it down to you in chapters. Because there's a few reasons why I decided to pursue this path. I also kind of feel like adding that Tantra to me isn't just about sex and sexuality. It's about so much more for me, but I'll go into that in a little bit more detail in the following chapters. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. She had beautiful wavy hair, an innocent soul, a wild heart, and endless curiosity. From the beginning, she admired nature, animals, and was curious about life. One day, she asked her mum where babies came from. Mum simply replied that they came through sex. When a boy puts his penis inside inside a girl's peepee, instantly the little girl became intrigued in sex. What was this thing that created babies? That was her first introduction to sex. The second time the little girl came in contact with sex was when a close friend only a few years older than her told her that she was going to play a sex game with her. The sex game was taught to the other little girl by her stepfather. The little girl with wavy hair felt uncomfortable playing this game, but she played it anyway because she trusted her little friend, and it was the first time she felt little tingles in weird places. When the little girl was older, she went over to a friend's house. They were discussing sex. Her friend said that she knew what sex was because her older brother played it with her. A few years went by, Death was growing into a teenager, hormones raging, thinking about and curious about sex. The only conversation with her mum she had about sex was about rape. All the other information she had collected about this topic came from friends and experiences and stuff she saw, like a dad's magazine that she found. Her friends would talk about boys and sex. She remembers her friends having secret meetings on a couch in the library where boys would touch the girls all over. Some of the girls seemed to enjoy it, so Steph decided to give it a go one time. It was horrible. Not only did Steph not like the guy, but he was very forceful. So she ran out of the library and never tried that again. When I think back on my life, I realized that I became interested in sex from a very, very early age. And we all have stories about the different touch points we've had in our lives where we've learned some new information about sex or sexuality, but we don't have adequate sexual education. That means that a lot of people are learning from places like porn or the crappy sex education at school, which mainly teaches about not getting pregnant and not contracting STDs, or we're just experiencing things for the first time and just going from there. And if sex is such a huge part of our lives, it's in the media, we're thinking about it, we're doing it, we all came from it, it's one of the most natural things in the world, then why isn't there more education around pleasure and sex being more holistic and fulfilling and spiritual and nourishing? I feel like there's something missing. Of my adult life I was with one partner, with my ex-partner. We were together for 13 years. In that time we had fantastic sex, lots of sex, <laughs> but things also changed when I found out he was having an affair with someone. That's when something happened and I went from being hyper orgasmic, super orgasmic beforehand, to not having orgasms at all, which really, really was 
very, very frustrating. So that set me off on a journey of self-discovery and exploration, exploring my own body, speaking to professionals and trying to find out what the hell was going on. But it did make me wonder what is the science behind orgasm? What factors contribute to people being able and not being able to orgasm? What is orgasm anyway? Another thing was also when me and my ex-partner did go through the divorce, I did go and have other sexual partners as well and I found that a lot of the time the experiences there were some great experiences but there were also a lot of less than desirable or pleasurable experiences and one thing that I noticed was that a lot of people simply learn what they know about sex through porn and you can tell if someone has watched too much porn because they kind of just play out those roles and there's no connection. There's like no energy flow. And that kind of made me think, hmm, I think there might be a problem here. Especially because even the guys in my life that I spoke to about this, they said that even in women, this was obvious as well. It's just like, we just need a little bit of extra education in this field, especially because sex and sexuality and our sexual energy plays such a huge role in our life. And that's another thing that I discovered, sexual energy. Sexual energy is our life force. I've always also been a person with very high sex drive and sometimes I didn't really know what to do with all that pent up sexual energy and it can lead you to do some pretty crazy stupid things as well. So it's about learning how to manage and harness this beautiful life force that we're given, that we're gifted with and being able to use it in a more sustainable and holistic way that doesn't deplete you but nourishes you and makes you feel good about yourself and the world we live in and others. The way I think about it, it's kind of like the books on wizards and witches where one day they discover they have this power but it kind of like they use it for the wrong things by accident not knowing what the hell is going on they've discovered they've had they have something but they're using it in all these areas and it's hurting them it's hurting people they love and it's hurting all sorts of things and then one day they get taken under some mentor's wing a teacher a senior witch or wizard and they're shown the path of how to harness this energy and use it for good <laughs> and how to make it more powerful and become more powerful and confident in themselves. That's kind of what sexual energy is like. It's the energy of creation and one of the most powerful energies that we have access to in this world. What has modern day Tantra meant to me? I'm still very new to this and always learning. But for me in particular, following this path of modern Tantra has meant so much more than just learning about sex and sexuality. Actually, initially it meant that I started to get more in touch with my mind, body and my soul. For me, for the first time in 33 years, of my life, really and truly knowing what loving myself means. It helped me discover and get connected with myself, also be happier than I have ever been before because of the connection that I'm starting to establish between my mind, my body and my soul. And due to these changes in the ability to connect to those three parts of myself and my heart has meant that I've become a lot more confident in life, a lot more respectful towards myself, towards the environment and to others. It's meant that I'm able to connect with humans better on a more deeper level. It also means that because I feel so fulfilled, nourished, happy in myself and I understand myself on a much deeper level I found that I've had this magnetism 
of people really wanting to be around me and enjoying my company whilst before I came from a place of total isolation and loneliness and a place of victimhood and there is a lot more about sexuality I feel like for the first time in 33 years I'm getting the sexual education that everyone should have but nobody gets and I want to teach this to others as well so we can all be empowered for one, I want to stay more accountable to myself to practicing these teachings and lessons every single day because I know how much they've helped me so far and I want to see how much they'll help me in life if I continue to practice them every single day for the rest of my life. Another reason is because a few years ago talking to a therapist, we discovered that sex is actually one of the most common languages in the world. It doesn't matter what ethnicity, color, um, culture you come from or country you come from we're all doing it we're all born from it we're all thinking about it it's just something that is universal to all of us and it's a pathway to be able to change the world for the better especially because the current education and the guilt the shame that surrounds this topic of sex there's a lot of room for change in this area. There's a lot of room for education and shifts in mentality and what we think about this area of our lives. We need to be able to stop making it so taboo, get rid of shame and guilt around this topic and be able to talk about these things with each other. And most importantly, one of the things that I'm most excited about becoming a Tantra teacher um, is the fact that I get to help people love and appreciate themselves more, connect with themselves more, respect themselves, and that will create beautiful ripples into the world where people will be able to connect with other people more, respect each other more, and just send out more love into the world. And I just can't really think of anything more beautiful than that. And I think that will translate to all of us respecting this magnificent world that we have been born into so much more and appreciating everything that life has to offer and that's why i'm really excited about this new career and new new path in my life and i hope that this is something that resonates with you and you'll come along this journey with me and if it's not then that's totally fine as well but if you would like to join me on this journey then make sure you subscribe to this channel <laughs> and follow me on other social media channels and I have a website coming very soon if you're interested in workshops which I'll be running soon or couples um, sessions or individual sessions then get in touch with me because at the moment I'm just at the start of my journey and I'm just doing them by donation and I need to practice so you would be helping me and I would be helping you hopefully <laughs> so feel free to get in touch with me sending you lots of love and pleasure <laughs>